Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into Bitcoin once again. Thank you for support. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So I'm sorry I didn't get any videos out yesterday. I started watching that Squid Games. My partner, she put it on in the morning. She says, oh, sure. And I watched one and that was it. I was addicted. So I just watched that all day and then I had football in the evening. So I had no time to do any updates. I do apologise for those that are waiting. I did post in the Discord and the Twitter that I won't be doing any updates yesterday. Just, just sort of time out. Watched that Squid Games, which I thought was really, really cool, by the way. I won't give any spoilers, but it was a really, really cool little show to, to watch. So, yeah, take some time out and, and enjoy your life, basically, instead of staring at charts all day, which is what I seem to be doing a lot of lately. So right now, Bitcoin for me, you had that beautiful cup and handle. You've got this ascending triangle, this level of resistance just there. You started to break out, okay, which was good. And then you start to come up and you're back to the, the, the previous level of resistance of support, which I said to you is a, a good level of support. But right there, you came up, you it's a little bit shy of the technical target and then you start to roll again you had a little bit of a correction you've put in a bit of a w bottom pattern just there so i'm going to look at that in a moment but right now you've broken this low resistance just there and you've come up and you've now met the technical target just there knob on look at that 58254 we've entered a level of rejection i do think on the four hour you put it in a bit of uh, a bit a bit of a bearish divergence yeah a bit of a bearish divergence there for bitcoin hence this is why you're getting this little sort of rollover at the moment you've got a little bit of a, a bearish divergence so once we start to break out this trend line here i do think you'll start to come up and put a new impulsive wave up here and i'm going to show you the technical target that you know bitcoin is technically in providing it can hold a key level support so for me uh, if we take a look at the hourly time frame right here for bitcoin there is a potential here that you could bounce here and come back up okay because you're holding a key level support like i said to you the 10 the, the 10 and 20 ema sorry the 20 ema on the hourly time frame any any time frame if you can continue to hold that this is where you just bounce off it and keep moving upwards if you start to lose that then you target the next dma as a level of support but right now you've got a key level of resistance that you've broken okay so this is really good you don't need to test it because you've already tested it you've tested it here okay so you've broken it which is really good but you've also equally created another level of resistance and technically support which you do need to see held for the continuation here and it's this it's a beautiful w bottom pattern just there on the hourly time frame do you see that so you are in an, an hourly golden cross just there you know that's quite a little bullish signal you know for continuation providing we can come back and hold that support carry out that um four hour uh, bearish divergence right there because we peaked hit our technical target rolling back to support if we can bounce here hold this key level support which i'm going to show you in a moment then for me this is really really good for bitcoin and you are in a technical target to the upside and i'll show you that technical target so you know just like i say to you in so many videos the balls go up the stairs don't they so right now you are in a technical target from there to there and let's see if that technical target has actually been met for bitcoin so right now you are currently in a technical target of 59147 you know and, and like i said to you the bulls are going upstairs aren't they you're slowly approaching this all-time high personally you know you could see a bit of a correction before now and the end of the month but i do think you will be looking at this by the end of the month you know you are going to be looking to come up to this particular forecast for me by the end of the month here for for bitcoin i do think it's going to get quite explosive i do think that november is going to be extremely bullish for bitcoin don't ask me how i know it's just history in its charts the charts are telling me something so i'm just relaying it to you okay there's a lot of um, on-chain analytics the fundamentals are looking geared up for a fantastic couple of months ahead okay for bitcoin so i do think that come uh, november we'll be putting in that technical target to around about 77k but i do think we may be looking to get over extended and go to the 1618 107k which i've had laid down way down there since um we we rolled over way back in uh, i think it was may i started to we created that bottom and it created a new impulsive wave which you are actually forming right now you're forming a new impulsive wave to one hundred and seven thousand dollars for me and and so far everything is beautiful this this bitcoin looks fantastic for continuation here until it does until it doesn't i'll tell you okay so you, you know you, you're coiling up here you're creating some beautiful patterns you're looking at continuation so for me right now bitcoin is in a technical target to that providing you can hold this support right now just like this like i said to you, using a technical target to that which has been met so we can get rid of that right now so that technical target has been met that cup and handle pattern it's a bit messy i know but technically Technical targets are technical targets until invalidated. You had a little bit of a throwback just there where you lost this support, come back up, and then you had that throwback, but you create this beautiful W bottom pattern and basically an ascending triangle look. Boom, 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 boom. You know, we got that nasty little wick down, which gives you a technical target up to there, 59111. So right now, providing you can hold this trend line as support, you could see a lovely little impulsive wave up to that particular target. And it's just like I said, the slowly the balls go up the stairs, getting to our, our, our projections right there. The 1618 at 63k, I think it is 
years and pushing beyond and once we break that you're looking at a 77k technical target of the big cup and handle pattern which i've shown you numerous times equally a bump and run and obviously a massive monster inverse head and shoulders which i've shown you as well so yeah i mean if bitcoin's doing this you know i know your altcoins are sort of going a little bit sideways down at some points but they will play catch up eventually okay bitcoin is breaking out it's exactly what it did last year i've shown you multiple videos right now and multiple you know charts that the, the, the historical data there the inverse correlation between the alts and bitcoin the bitcoin's front running and the alts are sort of taking a bit of a breather but once bitcoin gets to those technical targets and slows down this is where you see the sort of alts rally right now you'll be looking at some of the alts rallying because bitcoin's coming down for support for the next technical target which it's in do you understand that so for me this is a key level support that you do need to see held for bitcoin moving forward if you can get some cheeky bids down there on five six six one six if we do roll that deep okay and lose this 20 ema on the four hour you can pretty much see where the 55 ema is on the four hour just right there okay so if you do start to get the bounce off that and start to pick up then you will be looking at that technical target being met for me you know and, and that could offer a lovely little long op of around about 4.27 percent right there for bitcoin meet that technical target just like you've met this one and put another little sort of retracement right there coming back to a key level support for the continuation and like i said to you the bulls go up the stairs yes yeah, so bitcoin's looking really good you know it's looking really really bullish you're looking for continuation you can just look at the, the waveforms here i mean each time you get to this particular level for bitcoin you do tend to roll so on the hourly time frame when you get to this particular level in the rsi look you rolled over you rolled over so do keep an eye on that if you do start to come down okay even down here to this lower floor around about 30 30 that might bring you back down to this trend line at 56616 where it'd be a good little place to put some cheeky bids in ride it up to the top and then obviously you know take your profit on them cheeky longs basically and that will be the technical target met and from that we can look at another technical target if another pattern is created you understand that so yeah for me bitcoin's looking really really good you know looking for continuation hope you enjoyed the update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned hold that support go long and then I think you'll come up there and meet that technical target and hit another level of resistance. And like I said to you, the ball's got the stairs until you get a monstrous breakout here for Bitcoin moving forward. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.